Being diagnosed with kidney disease can be a huge challenge, both for the patient and those around them. Thursday is World Kidney Day, and this year the theme is living well, even while battling the chronic condition. Arise correspondent Amaka Okoye reports. Kidney disease is a huge problem around the world, but experts say even chronic cases can be treated. We need to prevent. And so this year, 2021, we are trying to raise the awareness, we are trying to increase awareness among Nigerians that the prevalence of this disease is on the rise, and that is like this everywhere. The diagnosis and management, particularly in advanced stages of kidney disease, has a severe impact on both patients and caregivers. We have a rising stance of uh, nephrology issues, disorders in children. What typically causes kidney disorders in adults is slightly different from what typically causes such in children. We make use of only living donors in Nigeria. So when it comes to living donors, you and I know that it's, uh, it can be a little challenging to convince someone to part with one of his kidneys. The fact that he has to undergo his surgery and to give one of his kidneys away. So these individuals will require some good level of counseling and education. These parents have a 10-year-old boy battling the disease. This uh, sickness started about two years ago now. When, we, when he diagnosed as a kidney disease in the University of Uyo Teaching Hospital at Kwaibom State. So, and ever since then, we have been battling Keep on medication, started dialysis. Since then, finance, we have been spending money, all this why, and uh, still we have not got to the end of it, which is kidney transplant. Ernest is a survivor. He says routinely taking medicine saved him. If you try to do this dialysis in a hospital that is not standard, they might kill you on the process. Because one, their machine is not working well. On my own transplant, everything went on well. One thing I do is that I don't joke with medical advice. But for some, the cost of treatment is just too much. I came in here, you know, I started the dialysis. They now said it was a blockage that there are some uh, toxic waste that makes the kidney not to function well, that I need to, you know, do a little bit of uh, dialysis on that one. I ran three series of dialysis. The financial aspect, you see, like my father used to say, if you are poor, you are not likely to live long. The financial aspect is better not imagine. In a week, it takes you over 80,000 for dialysis. Worldwide, an estimated 2 million people suffer from kidney failure, and the number of patients diagnosed with the disease continues to increase by up to 7% a year. Amaka Okoye, Arise News. All right, well, for more on this, we're joined by Alali Latishe, consultant nephrologist at Zenith Medical and Kidney Center. Great to have you on News Night. Thank you. Okay, let's start from where we should start from, actually, which is what's the kind of numbers we're looking at in terms of those who are suffering from kidney disease in Nigeria? Well, um, it's, it's uh, getting to an epidemic proportion in Nigeria, and um, even countries with robust economy they find it very difficult to cope. Um, Figure-wise, we do not have a renal registry. And so um, that makes it very difficult. And so um, one of the things that we hope to achieve very soon, uh, the Nigerian Association of Nephrology, is to have a renal registry where we can record uh, and have proper figures. However, prevalence of the disease in Nigeria has been put between 10 to 12 percent you know, of, of, of the population. Yes. That is in fact, huge. some parts of the country, they are recording as high as 16 percent of the population. Then in, com in terms of the body, um, is responsible for over 50% of, uh, I mean, over we, mortality is as high as 50% in wow. this environment. Yes. So it's, it's almost a death sentence almost in death this sentence. part of the world. But from yeah. that report, yeah. apparently there are some survivors who have oh, told yes. Their, oh, yes. their stories. Oh, yes. um, Let's talk about the costs. It, okay. it is huge. Very. It, very it is. Huge. Yes. Um, I mean... <laughs> 
I know what it, it means yes. because my own father died of you know from uh, oh. kidney uh, failure, and it's almost like the both the life of the person who has the disease mm -hmm. and the caregivers actually stop. True, very true. Um, How do we address this issue of cost? Well, that's why every year we gather uh, every um, second Thursday of um, March. Every year we gather to increase the awareness. Mm. Uh, one thing that we hope to achieve is prevention. If we can prevent it, you know, then we will not. Um, the cost is enormous. Where we, the, the average patient on dialysis needs mm. um, um, close to three hundred thousand weekly. Every week. Every week. So it, the question is, how much do people earn in Nigeria? And now, even if you earn that much, are you going to put all on on uh, health? The answer is no. So we need to have a way around it. And so that's why um, government also needs to increase funding in this area so that uh, we have more dialysis centers. And then uh, some countries fund it through their health insurance, mm. you know, either partly or fully sponsored, you know. But what we have in the country right now is that people pay out of pocket. So you talk about prevention. And yes. I'm, I would like to hear more about how do you prevent Kidney, kidney disease. disease in the first place. Oh, yeah. Um, there are several ways to prevent kidney disease. One of them is lifestyle. We need to modify our lifestyle. We talk about exercise. People are, who are obese will need to cut down their weight. We know that hypertension and diabetes are the two leading causes of kidney disease worldwide. Mm. So people who have these conditions, hypertension, diabetes, should ensure that they get to their physician to make sure that their blood pressure is well controlled Mm. Their blood sugar is well managed, and then that way you prevent getting into end stage kidney disease. Also, other ways to prevent, I mean, to slow down or mm. um, halt the progression of the disease would include things like um, we avoiding drugs like non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs. You know, some uh, people take these drugs routinely. Pain, what are those? Painkillers. Painkillers. Mm. Okay. Ibuprofen, cataflam, these are all medications all all that are not that. healthy on the kidneys. Other things like herbal medications. You find people take herbs on the street. You know, a lot of them are toxic to the kidneys. So lifestyle modification, exercise, drinking of water, making sure that you um, go for regular check. We have very poor health seeking behavior in our environment. Yeah. So making sure you check your blood pressure regularly. And if you have a family history of kidney disease, more mm -hmm. reason why you need to do that very often. I mean, yeah. maybe annually, just go for an annual check. Don't wait until when you are in end stage because we, we, re we receive a lot of our patients when they are already in end stage. At that point, the only thing we offer you is either dialysis or kidney transplantation. I'm not okay. sure we so have enough time how to even easy know the is it signs. to then do the kidney transplant? I know that you're one of it's, those it's expensive. Yeah. So um, at the moment, we, we do an average of about um, 18 to 20 transplants monthly. Wow. And how, uh, in terms of donors, do yes. we have loads of donors in Nigeria with healthy kidneys that are willing to donate? Uh, yeah, that, I think that last word, willing to donate, is where uh -huh, the problem the is. Yes. It is not easy to go under the knife for somebody because um, you'll be doing that under, I mean, just out of act of uh, generosity. So whether it's your relation or not, it's quite difficult to but get people. But if you give one of yours, it doesn't mean you'll die. Oh, yes. You? We, everyone can live on one kidney okay. throughout your lifetime. Mm. Studies have shown that uh, when people donate, they have two healthy kidneys, you can actually live on one okay. throughout your lifetime without having issues. And Thank so we must so encourage much. people to donate kidneys to their loved ones. Okay. Yes. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very much. nephrologist at uh, Zenith Medical and Kidney Center. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for...